Hello, my name is Lucas Reed, and this fall, 2023, I will be attending Martin Luther College, the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Senate College of Ministry, as a second career pastor with a previous degree. This means I have already earned a degree at another college. In my case, I have a Bachelor's of Science in Information Technology from Central Michigan University. I have worked in IT at CMU for 12 and a half years. I have a family, a wife, five-year-old son, one-year-old daughter, and a 13-year-old dog. I am 43 years old. This video series will be following my progress from first attending MLC to my first calling as a pastor within the Wells. If this series does well, I will probably create a new series following my life as a pastor until I retire. Please remember, this series is specific to my experiences. Your experiences will probably differ if you are answering the call to ministry. In no way do I intend this series to only be for men in the Wells. If you are watching this and you are of a different senate or denomination, please take out of it what you can and enjoy. Let's start at the beginning. I was born into, baptized in, and confirmed in a Wells Church, St. John's Evangelical Lutheran just outside of Gladwin, Michigan. Several generations of my family attended this church. My parents divorced when I was young and I attended church on Sundays with my father. Due to the experiences of my youth that involved the exposure to various adult events and things of a nature that were not suited for a child, I developed an intense fear of people and a lot of anger toward God. I spent the majority of my early, the early half of my life trying to escape from my faith, but as Jonah can tell you, running from the Lord just does not work. No, I am not trying to compare myself to Jonah. I was first called around the time of confirmation and it continued over the course of 25 years. At random times and out of the blue, it would just be in my head. You should become a pastor, but I could never answer the call. I always walked away. I was never in a place with my own faith that would allow me to be capable of leading others. This is not a job or a career. It is a calling from the Lord. It is not something I take lightly or something that anybody should take lightly. It was a painful time in my life because even though I was angry and scared and trying to rebel, the only thing I truly wanted to do was answer yes, but I knew I couldn't. In the beginning of 2021, my wife asked me if I would do the 60-60 experiment with her. I said yes. If you have not heard of this, then you should look it up and find somebody to do it with. In a nutshell, you stop every 60 minutes of the day and take a moment to commune with God. You do this for 60 days. It does not need to be an on-your-knees prayer, but it can be. It's about taking time out of your day for you and God. Every night, we would sit down after my wife put our son to bed and talk about how the day had went with the experiment. The last day came, and as I sat waiting for my wife to put our son to bed, I was called for the last time. This was different than previously. It had always been more of a suggestion in the past. This time, it was not. This time, it was... It is time for you to become a pastor. Let me clear this up. There was never an angel of the Lord or booming voices. Just the inner monologue that you know is not you. I'm not trying to say that it was the 60-60 experiment alone that got me to this point. I had been married to my Christian wife for 11 years and dating for 8 years before that. And in the time, I had finally, I had finally through the grace of God, come to terms with my past. Gave up my anger and fear and regained my faith. I cannot even begin to describe the joy at finally being able to answer yes. We had not been attending a specific church up to this point and had spent many years moonlighting at various churches. I began researching various seminaries but was always drawn back to the Wells. My wife and I discovered that there was a Wells church about 10 minutes from our house and began attending and became members. It became blatantly obvious to my wife and I that Zion Evangelical Lutheran, just outside of Mount Pleasant, Michigan, on Coldwater Road, was where God intended us to be, not to be confused with the other Zion church near Mount Pleasant. We found the wellspring of support from the good people of the church at a wellspring, I believe, will see us through all of our to our first calling and beyond. And so here it is, 2023. I quit my good job that allowed me to provide for my family and moved us to a small town, New Ulm, in a state we had never set foot in before, Minnesota. It is our faith in the Lord that has carried us here, and it is our faith in the Lord that will carry us through to the end.